So I'm making a little video here on my uh, PS Vita. When I kind of shake mine a little bit, I could feel something moving, and I feel that it's this battery. You can you can see it kind of moves a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, um, but basically when you shake it, you can you can hear it rattling. If I hold these little pieces down and if I, if I hold it in place and shake it, you can kind of hear it. Because up here near the top, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see it kind of. It isn't. It it isn't held in place, like the bottom here with screws. So, I took mine apart and decided to. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue. We're going to dab it here, and down here, and maybe a little bit on the ends here. And we're going to see if maybe that stops the rattling because it just annoys me. Every time I tap the screen, I can hear the, the battery rattling around in there. And my friend Silver does not do it, just my black one does. So I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue on there, and we'll see uh, what that does. All right, let's go ahead and get to the hot glue. Okay, as we can see here, the, uh, the hot glue is already dripping off the gun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe that on something else excess, because I don't like to use the... Uh, big glopping goop but that lets me know that my hot glue gun is ready to go and I'm gonna go ahead and push this battery over just a little bit and I'm not positive on this because I've never done this before but I feel that the areas that will be safe to hit will be kinda near the end of the battery here um, I don't think hot glue is gonna be enough to damage the battery and I don't want to use super glue because I feel that super glue is gonna be too damaging to it if you ever need to take it off. So if any reason I ever need to open this and exchange the battery, usually hot glue can be pried off with a fingernail or you know it can be heated up with a hair dryer to make, be made soluble and uh, be taken off or whatever the word is. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put like a little dab right here. Maybe a dab or two. And then I'm going to go ahead over here. Now I know that the lighting is not the greatest, but you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And I might put just a little bit on the end here because it looks like we have enough of a ridge to get away with that. Like I say, usually hot glue is not so damaging that it will be an issue to the uh, parts at all. I don't think it's going to hurt the battery, and it holds pretty well. Um, I'm going to go through and go ahead and remove these little areas here and peel off and probably the little, the little rope pieces, you know, as they are. Um, I'm going to let it dry for just like a couple of seconds because hot glue uh, hardens up pretty quickly. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the PSP back together and see if we still have that rattling issue. Um, hopefully not. Theoretically, you probably could have just put a dab right here and just a smaller dab right here with a smaller dab here and a smaller dab here. But I, you can see I, uh, I put it all the way up through here, through here, and then over here I put it down here and over through here. I really don't want that rattling problem happening again. You also could probably theoretically put it right through here and right through here, but I feel that these screw pieces on this plastic bar here hold this section in place pretty good. I think that the real issue comes down here on the opposite end of the battery. I feel like there's no support down here, and if your case was molded a little sloppier, like I think my black case is, um, that's where your real problem is. It comes in here. Uh, sorry for the focus issue. My phone 
randomly decides what it wants to focus on and what not. Um, let's click the button there so we can get a little better focus on that. And it is fighting me because I don't have a lot of lighting. Let's change the angle here. Okay, that's not helping. Okay, there we go. Um, so now you can see that I, I put my hot glue there, and I put my hot glue there, and I put it here and here. But I did not put any down here near these screw pieces because I don't feel like that's going to be a problem. Um, I can actually probably pick this up now, and as long as I hold down this piece, and I hold down this piece, because these rattle when you shake it, I should be able to see if I hear any kind of rattling at all now. now let's see if I do. No, I don't hear anything. That Any noise you heard is probably from my fingernail batting against the plastic. So I am pretty certain that these areas right here that I have hot glued now are going to be fine. Whether or not I've put too much on the ridge here to close the case nicely, I'm going to find out myself. But if all goes well, it will seal up nicely and I will no longer have any kind of rattling battery sound. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back together now. Okay, after some preliminary testing, I am a liar, and uh, I went through and I went ahead and put some hot glue along this edge of the battery as well, and I put some along this edge as well. After hot gluing right here, and right here, and right here, and through here, um, I was running into the problem where I was just uh, test shaking just the back shell piece here, and I was running into... Um, still a slight bit of rattling so I just kinda got tired and fed up with that and I just went ahead and, and hot glue like you can see pretty much all the way around I didn't get right here just in case and I didn't get right here and I didn't actually mess with the bar piece here either just kind of on the edges here up here here and here and of course along the sides here I feel like this is a pretty good solution um, I'll take a picture of this and maybe add it to the end of this YouTube link. But I just wanted to show that I did in fact feel like um, there did need to be some more uh, hot glue applied to this in order to get my, my personal battery to stop rattling. Um, I, I feel like this is kind of annoying when you when you buy you know a hundred ninety nine or two hundred fifty dollar piece of uh, of gear and right away out of the box the battery's rattling. I can only guess that these batteries are probably um, not manufactured all to the same spec. Some are probably a little bit fatter than others, or the plastic shell housing around here is probably a little bit thinner or a little bit fatter on some of these units. But um, in case you buy your PSP and if you shake it a little bit and you get some rattling, just know that it's probably fine. It's probably just the battery, and unless you're anal like me and you don't like your brand new hardware to be rattling because you don't feel like that should necessarily be happening because that's kind of, you know, bullshit. Um, this is what you can do. You can open it up and just put a little hot glue on the sides here and that should pretty much fix your rattling problem. I never anticipate needing to replace this battery, but if I ever do need to, I can pop these two screws out, take this bar out, and I can probably lift this battery out with a little bit of force and the hot glue will just peel away. Um, that's personally why I like hot glue, and in my experience, this hot glue is probably going to hold just fine since I'm not going to be throwing this thing like a football or anything like that. But uh, Sony, get your act together, because you really shouldn't be making you know shitty hardware that we're paying $250 for. Um, I don't really care that I voided my warranty. Um, most of the rest of the unit works fine. I, I did have a little bit of a um, problem with my left button being a little squeaky when I first originally bought it, but I've blown it with some compressed air, and I'm hoping that that's going to clean the problem up. Other than that, I've got no dead pixels or anything like that, so I really didn't want to send the unit back to take my chances with a different screen or anything like that, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and fix it myself because this is a fairly easy fix if you've got a hot glue gun and you don't mind taking your system apart. And really, I didn't need any plastic tools that did it. I just followed a YouTube link where I unscrewed, you know, the four screws on the back, the two screws on the bottom, the two screws on the top. And then I just used my fingers to pry it apart. And I don't believe I've damaged anything. But now that I've actually hot glued multiple places, I feel like this is going to be pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back together now and see what happens. Alright, so uh, I don't hear any more rattle on my PlayStation. Um, I've turned it off, my PlayStation Vita. Uh, I can shake it as much as I want, and there is no more rattle associated with it. I mean, aside from just the buttons themselves rattling, which is very minor. But uh, what I was hearing before was very clicky and very thuddy inside, like a battery moving around. And I can shake this thing like, you know, like Sasquatch and... I don't really hear anything. There's no real problems. Everything still works great. So I am very satisfied with my little hot glue gun fix. Uh, 
even when tapping the screen, I get less of a vibrating effect now. It feels very good. So I'm going to go to uh, go ahead and draw the conclusion that my fix has worked pretty well. So um, hot glue, a little bit of screwdriver, a little bit of patience. We'll get your Vita back to a non-rattling state. So if you aren't afraid to open it up, which, like I said, I've only opened this thing for about oh, about two weeks or so. Um, three weeks maybe at the most. And I was not afraid to go ahead and open that up. And everything seems to be working great. So that is my solution to a slight battery rob you know, rattling problem. And again, Sony, come on quality control. It's not that hard, it's not that expensive. We shouldn't have to do this to our own products, but I didn't want to risk sending it back and getting a bad screen or some other problem or having to spend money to ship it back to Newegg or whoever. So, you know, for me, it took about 15 minutes to do this fix and I'm pretty happy with my system now. All right. Thanks for watching.